it going guys? Today the inevitable happened and I finally broke off my only key to my soda machine. Right now I'm going outside because Marcus is here. I thought I'd make a video of me drilling out the lock. I'm I didn't find him this time. Count out 100. Yep, yeah, that's from we sold the candy machines. I gotta do this and I gotta do it in public. Okay, well. All right, I thought I'd make a quick little snippet here showing the machines I got. So this machine is a coin changer and I'm putting it in, a, in the sandwich shop with the other four machines I have in there. I showed that in the last video. But this machine, I was broken when I bought it. I bought it for $350 and I thought it might work because like that started working kinda. It was just the bill acceptor. So I bought a $300 system that hooks it up to this that I paid $150 for and then I ordered another $50 part that goes on the front of this to be able to mount to the bracket. It's a whole complicated thing. In the end, this still works perfectly. The actual system works perfectly and I actually made a TikTok about that in the YouTube short because this is awesome. It has half a million dollars. $562,000 vended through this thing. Uh, we were kind of forced into buying it, so we went to Ohio to an arcade that was closing down. And I'll actually show you, we had we bought an Injustice. So we bought this thing, and this is, he bought it for $8,000, brand new. This is the 43 inch mod. Four months later, he had to close his arcade, and he sold it to us for $3,000. And we actually talked him down from $5,000, and he wasn't very happy about it. In the end, when we got there, he pulled kind of a douche move, and he forced us into buying the change machine and the barber cut, which I'm not too mad about the barber cut. It is in pretty rough shape. The screen, it doesn't look that bad. Cracked on the inside there, but mechanically, it works perfectly. This, obviously, was a hunk of junk that I fixed into something that works. Actually, I'm gonna throw a dollar through it right now. Yeah, as you can see, it works perfectly. Probably has a good 10 hours of work into it, $500 of parts, so I sure hope it works. Uh, and then we're gonna sell this little changer that I originally bought for the sandwich shop. But here's all the machines in here. Toy Taxi is still broken, and this Hunter is gonna go in the arcade someday. And then this clean sweep, I'm gonna, after I get it all looking good, I'm gonna put it on location. It's time to go drill out that lock, which is not gonna be a fun task, because it's in the middle of public. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show of that, because it is in the middle of public and I kind of just need to get in and out but I'll show as much as I can I got one key with it and I was lazy and I never changed it so time to see what happens when you're lazy Just ran to Walmart and I grabbed a quick drill bit. It cost me only six dollars, and I don't know, it's a titanium drill bit. I was the the one before looked a little dull, so I thought I'd uh, grab that one. But yeah, let's head over there. All right, guys, here we are at the vending machine, and as you can see, Dr. Pepper is completely out. Well, like the thing isn't triggered to be able to detect, and so is Mountain Dew. Those those neither of those are triggered, but there are still a couple in there, so I definitely have to get those filled up. As you can see, the drills right there. I got the lock all drilled out and opened up. It took me like an hour and a half. And then I just put the lock on and then I also filled it up. So I filled the Dr. Pepper up like a little bit. I just put a quick 12 pack in there and then I still gotta put a 24 pack of Mountain Dew. Usually I try to wait till Labor Day sales to be able to get more soda and that is the cash and coins for just two weeks or maybe it was a week. I forget how much that was, but as you can see, I got a nice lock on there. And then here is the cash for, I think it was a week, and then I believe it was around $50 just for the week in revenue, but yeah. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, uh, I filmed that first bit when I left at like 10 in the morning. It is currently noon, and it's 95 degrees in Wisconsin. All I had to do was drill out a lock, yet here I am drenched, drenched in sweat, and it took two hours to drill out a freaking lock. I had to run the Walmart halfway through. 
as you can see the grease monkey is in the background there i just wanted to take a quick second here to shout out an app that i use to help me get products for the soda machines and vending machines that i own it's called flip that's f-l-i-p-p -P. basically you can go on the app and then enter the products that you want and then enter the stores around your area uh, and you enter your zip code and everything and it just tells you basically every single deal anytime any day of the week and then it lets you know the updated deals like for me my best one has been dollar general and pick and save now i go i would recommend walmart and costco and sam's club for the general stuff that like you'll get a decent price on them like at walmart it's twelve dollars for a pack of 24 you know mountain dew crush sprite all of that stuff 12 bucks so it's 50 cents a can and then i sell them for a dollar 100 percent markup that's good but then with this app, I find deals like Pick and Save the other day had a deal for you could you could buy three of them for like 12 bucks or something like that. And it came out to like four dollars a piece. And it was amazing because that saved me like I, I for that twelve dollars, I got an extra case of 12, which really, really, really increases profits in the business here, putting it down to like 33 cents a can. So I definitely recommend Flip. That's F.L.I. PP, this is uh, no promotion or anything. It's just I'm recommending it to everyone who's uh, on the channel. So yeah, make sure to go check that out. Also, make sure to go check out my Discord server. I'm just starting it up. There's not many people in there, but go in there. We're putting together some uh, local vendors and everything in that. So make sure to ask us questions. All right, back to the video. Just picked up a quick 24 pack of Mountain Dew. Let's head back over to the vending machine. All right, guys, so we're back here at the vending machine. As you can see, I just loaded up the Mountain Dew, and I have to do a voiceover because uh, this is a public area, and it's a little cringy to just be talking. So here I'm going to be running some tests. Usually when you fill up an older machine like this, you got to run the Mountain Dew and, you know, the cans through because sometimes it they don't actually go at first because you got to get them locked into that chamber. But um, if, if you guys don't know, I'm, I actually just bought a new machine for this location because this machine is 40 years old that you're looking at. I bought a Mountain Dew machine, and I'll throw it up, throw it up on screen right now. It was uh, $1,500 compared to this one with 400 So yeah, stay tuned for that.